Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get started with Amiga emulation on your Mac using FSUAE. So I'm going to open up my favorite browser, Microsoft Edge, and I'm going to go to this website, fs-uae.net. So as of the time of this video, 3.1 is the latest, but I'm going to go to the download now button and hopefully it will take you to the Mac OS version of this page. Now there's two versions, people that are on Intel Macs like myself, you'll be looking at the x86-64. If you know that you've got uh, the latest M1 or M2 Mac, then you're gonna be interested in these links down here. Please note that there's some functionality in the M1 and M2 that isn't working. Notably, uh, the JIT compiler, which speeds up the emulation quite a lot. I'm on an Intel Mac at the moment, so I'm going to download these links here. Now there's two links. There's FSUAE and there's FSUAE Launcher. We need to download both of those. And then I'm going to open up FSUAE first. Let's open up that. And then we should see FSUAE icon. We just need to drag it into the applications. There we go, and that appears. And then similar. I want to open up FSUAE Launcher. That's got a blue icon. I drag that over to Applications. Wait for that to copy. Brilliant, okay. So we can close those. Okay, so under Launchpad, we've got two icons. We've got FSUAE and FSUAE Launcher. So which one do we choose? FSUAE is the main core of the emulator. But really, you want to be choosing the launcher because the launcher helps you in setting up the Amiga. The first time that you open up the application, the Mac is saying, oh, okay, you've downloaded this from the internet. Are you really sure you want to open this? Yes, I do. So this is the main interface of FSUAE Launcher. Now down the bottom, uh, we're gonna have a message saying about using Kickstart ROM replacement. Click here to import Kickstart ROMs. So if you're not aware already, uh, the Amiga requires kickstart ROMs. These are like BIOS files in order for the Amiga to work properly. These are licensed by Kalanto and the official way to get them is to get the Amiga Forever Pack. Now the sad thing is, is there's no Mac version of this. This is only compatible with Windows. If you do have a Windows machine, you could get the Amiga Forever 10 Pack and then you've got to go to a particular folder, grab those ROM files, put them on a memory stick, and then come back to your Mac. That's quite annoying. The other alternative is that maybe you go to archive.org. Maybe I could suggest to you that you search for the words Batasira BIOS and download that, and maybe there's some Amiga Kickstart ROMs in there. Who knows? I can't provide any links anyway. I have already got my Kickstart ROMs that I've copied from my Windows PC. So I've put them all in a folder called Kickstarts. There we go, and these are the files that we're looking for. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to do Command and C to copy. Then I'm going to go to the Documents folder. And you'll notice that there's now a new folder called FSUAE within your documents. Go into there. Then go into Kickstarts, do Command V to paste, and all of those should paste into there. Fantastic. Then let's go back to the launcher. I'm going to go to the little icon in the top left hand corner, and I'm going to do Update File Database. Now you'll notice to import Kickstarts. I've tried this before, and it doesn't really work for me, so I, um, I know that the method that I'm showing you does work. So we go to update file database. Already the kickstarts folder is populated in the scan. So we click on the word scan and then hopefully all of these become green with little ticks. If they don't, then you need to go back to the kickstart ROMs that you've got. Maybe um, they're incorrect versions or something. So that's good. That message down the bottom has disappeared as well about it's using replacement ROM, um, so we're all good. Now, that's great and all that we've got an Amiga emulator. I mean, I could click Start now, and a window will appear. Boot screen should appear. 
We've got the nice clicking sound of a floppy drive as well being emulated. So uh, to get out the emulator, you do on the Mac function, um, well, I need the F12 key. So I have to hold down function and press F12. And we get a little menu here. So uh, basically I'll go to the up arrow to go to the X and then press enter and that quits out the emulator. Now that's brilliant, but actually we want to do something with this Amiga, so what can we do? Well, there's a couple of options. You can find some loads of ADF files, uh, the Amiga disk files, and run things off of virtual disks and everything. Um, if you're really interested in games, I, I suggest that you check out uh, WH Download. Now there's a whole system called WHD Load and I have loads of videos on, on my channel about WHD Load so go and search those um, if you want to learn more. But this is a great resource here for downloading uh, Amiga games. So we could choose maybe for example under the S's uh, what games have we got. Um, let's choose maybe si Simon the Sorcerer. That was a good series. Uh, let's click on that. Download that, it's an LHA file. So waiting for that to download. Just go open up the download folder. And I wanna copy that. So command and C to documents. Go go in my FSUA folder again. I'm gonna make a new folder this time. I'm gonna call it WHD load. Let's go into there, paste that file. I haven't extracted it at all or anything. It's just the LHA file just there all on its own. Let's go back to the launcher. Now one thing I do recommend doing is go into the login slash register and create a open retro account. Okay, so go ahead, do that. If you haven't got an account already, go to the create an account, but I'm gonna log in now to my account. If you're logged in, it's gonna start updating the database. Now open retro is basically a massive database of games and it has a lot of meager content on there and when we start feeding in WHD load games um, it's going to give us more information about those games and it's just a better way of managing and organizing all the Amiga games that we're going to be putting into FSUAE. There we go and it's all finished. Now you'll see on the left hand side it's populated it with a load of names of, of Amiga games. Now it doesn't mean that we've got these games right away. Um, it means that these are in the database and it knows about them. So I'm going to tidy up this menu a little bit because this can be a little bit confusing. If we go to uh, the menu and then settings, I'm going to go to uh, game database and then I'm going to choose uh, the option, the drop down at the top where it says available and downloadable games. I'm just going to say available games, okay? And you'll notice, oh, that's all disappeared now. Well, we haven't told it where that WHD load folder is that we created earlier. So if we go to the menu again, we go to update file database, go click on the little plus, we'll go, go to our documents, FSUAE, WHD load, and then click on open. Let's go back in to update file database, and we'll see that that WHD load folder is there. Let's click on scan, and yeah, it's completed scanning. If we go to close, there we go, there's Simon the Sorcerer in our list. If I select that, it brings up information about the game. What do we do to start this game? Well, you just double click on Simon the Sorcerer, and then it's going to prepare some files, and then eventually it's going to open up. And then the game starts. Now in this window view, um, this might be okay for you, but you can do command and then enter to go full screen. There we go. And then command and enter, to go back to a windowed view. We can do function and F12 to bring up our menu. If we're using disks, we can remove and swap disks as well if we want. WHD load doesn't use disks. And as well, we can quit the emulator in the corner. So that's a basic tour of FSUAE on the Mac. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. I can do extra videos on this if you want. 
If you're interested in the Amiga, then I've got a whole ton of other videos on my channel, so check that out. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff as well on this. And if this video did help you out, then yeah, please give it a like because that will spread it to more people.